Welcome back to the Tiny House Concierge. My name is Alaska. I am your Tiny House Concierge. And today we are going to learn how to change out a separate composting toilet. So it is Wednesday morning and that is trash day here at the Tiny House of Peace. So that means I need to take the composting stuff and put it in the composting trash. Uh, if you're wondering how the toilet works, that's a different video. The link to that video is in the description below. If you haven't had a chance to like this video or subscribe to this channel, please take a moment to do so. I would love to have you join us. All right, friends, now we are going to begin the changing out of the composting toilet. And this adventure begins in the freezer. do this. So I told you this adventure begins in the freezer. I was not kidding. I know it's the toilet. It starts in the freezer and here's why. The freezer is where I keep the composting cube. I want to be real clear. Nothing regarding the bathroom goes in the freezer. One more time for the people in the back. Nothing in the bathroom goes in the freezer. Okay, cool. Um, but this composting cube, which I will try to shelter from your eyes just a little bit, um, is where I put biodegradable material so that it doesn't smell. So this cube is where coffee grounds go, avocado peels, shrimp tails, like whatever that would rot and smell in the trash goes into the freezer so that it doesn't smell and so that I can dispose of it in a way that is better than just throwing it in the garbage. So, uh, the reason I start in the freezer is because this and what is in the toilet, that all goes to the same trash bin. And if you're unfamiliar with what a composting trash bin is, uh, if you have trash service where you put like grass clippings and tree branches or the landscapers put stuff in there, that's your composting trash. That's where this is going. That's where the toilet bag is going. Like. It's that, it's that simple. A lot of people don't know what a composting trash is or composting trash service is. That's what it is. It's, it's the trash service that takes away the tree branches and the grass clippings. It's all going to the same place. So anyway, I am going to start by oh, lifting this out and getting it ready. And this, by the way, is just a cheapy thing that I bought at Walmart and I line it with a biodegradable bag. The end. I call it a composting cube because it feels fancy. It's just a Walmart bin. Okay, so here we are at the composting toilet. Ooh, wait, I need my gloves. Okay, so here we are at the composting toilet and it's really, really simple. All we're going to do is lift this up here. We're going to grab the bucket out, take the bag, tie a knot like a doggy bag, and throw it in the composting trash. So again, there's a video explaining how this works, how the, this toilet works, and I'll put the link to that video in the description below. Uh, however, remember that what's in here, what's in this bag, is all dehydrated. So there's a fan that runs all the time and this tube vents it to the outside. So what you're gonna have in here is like, kind of like dry dog poop basically, except it's not from a dog. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, why? Why am I putting this on the internet? So we can all learn together. Please like this video. Um, okay. <laughs> all right, let's do this friends. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm making, 
I'm making faces, but like it's not that bad. It's fine. Okay. Let's go! So if you remember, this is the freezer cube. And I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna put it into the bucket. And now the entire bucket will go in the composting trash. BRB. Okay, so now what I do is I just take some isopropyl alcohol and I spritz the inside of this really well. And just kind of wipe it down with a paper towel. There you go. Okay, so cleaning the composting toilet can mean different things depending on how deep of a clean I'm doing. If I'm just, if I just need to change it out real quick because I'm getting chores done and need to get out of the house, I'll just kind of wipe things down with alcohol and put a new bag in and call it good. If I'm going to do a little bit of a deeper clean, I will wipe things down and then I will use like a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser that's dedicated to the toilet and a little bit of Castile soap and uh, Thieves Essential Oil and I'll just like wash it down um, and then I will rinse out this, which actually I'm going to do that today. There's This is the fan blocker thing and this thing will get dusty. So I'm just going to rinse this out and then uh, wipe down the bottom just because dust and stuff gets in there. Um, and then I will wipe this part that's like the pee funnel like it's kind of gross so yeah okay let's do this I'm gonna start by rinsing this out okay so I've rinsed out the little guard for the vent and now I'm just going to take a little more isopropyl alcohol this is a mm, like 70% and then a little water in there too and I'm just gonna wipe out the bottom Again, there's nothing crazy in here. There's just like, just dust and stuff like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna spray this little blue piece right here. That's where like the urine diversion thing is, so that goes direct, that's plumbed directly into my gray water. So I'm just going to spray that with alcohol. Make sure that gets wiped down. And then the same up here. Okay, so now we're ready to put the bucket back into the toilet. And I use these bio bags that I buy at Costco. I find that the tall kitchen situations are good are a good size for the separate composting bucket. And buying these in small packs is also kind of expensive. So buy them at Costco. I think this thing, this is 60 bags. I think it was like $12 or something. So yeah, definitely a little bit cheaper. So, let's do this, friends. Line the bucket here. There is nothing fancy, as you can see. And I'm just going to put this, fit that into the bottom. And then I'm going to take this screen and I'm gonna pop it back in like that. And then you just hit these little guard handles, pull it down. Oh, wait, friends, I forgot one final step. 
after you clean the toilet, open this up. I usually spray the bowl a little bit, which I did off camera, sorry. Um, and then I take, as a last step, I take white vinegar. And I pour like a cup of this down the drain. And that keeps like gross buildup from happening in the pipes. And, and by the way, tiny house composting toilet tip. If your composting toilet smells, it is like 99% this pee situation. So white vinegar will fix that instantly. And that friends is how you change out a separate composting toilet.